to visualize some data for us. Uh, what's your first impressions? What do you think this is? A mess. <laughs> <laughs> Using data to guide health in the future is incredibly important and sort of guiding future interventions and healthcare measures. If you are if you have an interest, I think, in contributing to you know the, the well-being, the improvement of well-being of population across the world, then health data science is key to achieve that goal. So Lancaster's a, a unique institution, a unique place. We've got a, a really great mixture of people who are at the cutting edge of geostatistics, uh, looking at spatial patterns of infectious diseases and other health conditions. We've got people who are really uh, keyed into NHS and the future development of data analysis in the, in the NHS. And then we've also got uh, experts in infectious disease epidemiology and infectious epidemic modeling uh, as well. There's a lot that data can show you about how to treat how to treat people from an operations point of view and how to run hospitals from an operations point of view and all these different things can be learned from the data and used to improve health outcomes of individuals our graduates can help them understand what's really happening within their systems and understand their patients better and improve the outcomes of the individuals. I think Joe and I working really closely with NHS that gives us quite hands-on knowledge of actually what students can expect or the thing they should worry about which is um, much more practical and, and hands-on rather than just a, a textbook kind of experience. So in many ways for NHS as well it's it's a great asset to have someone who can get on with, with their work straight away on the day one. One of the most important things which make someone a good health data scientist is being able to take data and turn it into in a, a quantity which is easily understood. So translating a lot of numbers and abstract quantities into something which someone who's applying it on the front line can then look at and instantly see the conclusion which should be drawn from it. Um, so being able to communicate, I think, is one of the most important skills of a health data scientist. I wanted to go into some form of statistics or data science, but I wanted it to be something which was going to make a difference and be applicable in lots of places. I don't know, it felt like the right thing to do in order to make a difference rather than just to make money. <laughs> well, I would choose health data science over just data science. As you can see a clear pathway of how you can improve people's lives, which is possible with data science, but it's definitely more likely to happen with health data science. I'm really interested in data and what you can do with it. You could feasibly change people's lives. It was almost like it chose itself for me. Like I knew it was going to be health. It was never just going to be straight data science. I'd like to focus on students that again come from not data science backgrounds. They might treat this as something not for them or they think um, I need to do this for my career, but I'm terrified. I'm terrified of numbers and of statistics. And what we do hope that they can actually leave not only with ability to do this, but also confidence. There's a completely different type of mathematics. It's identifying patterns. If you can identify patterns, then you'll probably be very good at the course. When we start using the real data, like we're using in our examples uh, in, in our labs and class, you get to understand the real detail of, of of what it is that is on the ground. I, I can apply all these skill sets that I'm learning, so that has been, yeah, very informative for me. I think I would say don't be scared. A lot of people can see maths and programming languages and feel like, no, this is going to be very difficult. And it's challenging, but it's a good challenge and everyone is so nice and welcoming there. Everyone can help you through it. It's totally 100% doable and very, very interesting. So don't be scared, yeah. There are already many uh, health, uh, public health organizations that I'm in contact with that who are desperate for health data scientists and uh, they work uh, really on a global scale. There's public health opportunities within local government, national government, Department of Health and Social Care, um, and that all of these people are desperate for analysts. So I think there'd be no difficulty in finding you know, a job with a range of employers. 
there's all sorts of different things which are playing into why something's happening and trying to like find those is like I don't know a bit of detective work it's quite fun exactly that's exactly what it is it's just detective work yeah, yeah. <laughs> with maths <laughs> Data is the key to the future of health. So data is what will allow us to work out how to keep people healthy in the future. Because it's health data, you're, you're analysing it to try in a, an attempt to make people healthier and lead better, more fulfilling lives, right? Rather than just how can we squeeze more money out of people, you're trying to make their lives better. Uh, and fundamentally, I think that's why we all do this. Health data is such an exciting industry because we've got so much of it. Using that data has a real, real big impact on people's lives. Just by running simulations, we can save thousands of lives, which makes it incredibly rewarding and incredibly important.